Get ready for Thanksgiving and all the holidays to come with some fun and unique crafts. We're getting a few today and getting crafty, beginning with some wooden spoons. Amy Latta is back with us. Good morning, Amy. Happy Thanksgiving to you. Thank you. Same to you. I know that you're going to be uh, starting to really help us set our table. And by doing that, we're going to start today with the turkey spoon place card. So explain this to us. Sure. So today in this first segment, we're crafting with wooden spoons. They actually are really inexpensive because you can find them at the thrift store. You can find them at the dollar store or in a big jumbo pack at your craft store. And there's so many different ways that you can paint these to make really fun place cards, gifts, and more. So what we have first is this adorable little turkey. I hope you can see him. And all you need to do this is the wooden spoon, some paint, Google eyes, feathers, and felt. So the first thing that you're going to do is paint your wooden spoon in whatever shade of brown paint you like. And when it's completely dry, the next step is to add a face. So I gave mine Google eyes, and then I just cut a triangle out of felt for the beak, and then a little red, um, I think it's called a snood, maybe, or a waddle, whatever you want to call his little gobbler. And then the next thing we do is we add some craft feathers and you can use any colors that you like. So I've got some different color schemes here and then you can leave it as is if you're just gonna use it for your decor or if you want it to be that place card on your table, all you're gonna do is take some cardstock and either cut or punch it so it's a tag shape. And that can be as simple as a rectangle or I have a tag punch that's a little fancier whatever you have, and then you're going to write your guests' names on here. Now, you know that I love hand lettering, so of course I did some of that on there, and I've got tons of things on my website for how to do it, but any way that you want to write the name is great. You can use alphabet stickers even, and then just tie it around the spoon handle with a ribbon, and we have these adorable little guys that will sit right on your plate and tell everyone where to sit. Plenty of time to get that done before the big day here next week. Now, also, you know, Christmas is coming up, winter time. A lot of people like snowmen and they decorate with them. So another spoon idea is the snowman spoon. Yes, so this is basically the same kind of idea. We're just making a snowman instead of a turkey. So this time we're going to paint our wooden spoon white. And then the first step is we're going to give him a hat. I like to wait for the face for this one because the first time I tried to make one, I did the face first and then the hat covered it. So we want to do the hat first so we know where it goes. And to do that, I used a fuzzy sock. I had some red glittery ones. You could also use black or any color that you like. And you're just going to cut a strip of it and you're going to wrap it around the top of the spoon and glue it in the back where it overlaps. Then you'll take string or twine and just gather up that extra part. And that's what makes the little pom-pom kind of top for that knit hat. Then you're gonna take a fabric scrap. You can use flannel or fleece or felt or anything that you have, even just cotton fabric. And you're gonna tie that around the spoon handle. Then I had some little buttons I glued on here that you can do. And then the last step is to put the face on. So for this, I actually used paint markers. I had orange and black paint markers. Um, you can use paint and a little detail brush, but I find kids like to do this craft and it's a lot easier to control a marker than it is to control a little paintbrush. So that's my suggestion, but either way, any way you wanna give him a face and you can of course use Google eyes if you prefer, um, but just give him a happy, cheerful little face. And then this guy of course could become a place card too, or what I'm going to do is I'm going to gift these to my neighbors. I found some really inexpensive kitchen towels and oven mitts at Walmart. They're like a dollar a piece. And so I just bought little coordinating sets. And then I'm going to tie the spoon on top as a nice little neighbor gift. That's really awesome. You're going to have more coming up here in our second hour. But if folks want to follow your designs, where can we go? You can always come and find me at amylattacreations.com and you'll see that today's post is the turkey. Mamie, thanks. Stay where you are. We're going to come back to you in just a bit. We appreciate it.